Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS continues work on inventory of tax returns, original tax returns filed in 2021 to be completed this week. But first, an attempt at a joke. While well, seated at the pub, Biden explains how inflation is all Putin's fault. It's Putin's inflation, I tell you. What's that you say? No, spending money like a drunken sailor, money provided by the printing press, that doesn't cause inflation. Hold on a second. Barkeep, give us another round of your finest. It's on the taxpayers tab. Now, I'll tell you what causes inflation if you really wanna know. It's people like you running your mouth about my spending habits with your money. Mind your own dang business. You see this cocktail right here? My spending taxpayer dollars on this cocktail is actually saving the children. But no, you're too selfish to even think about how to save the children and don't understand how the economy works. I mean, come on, man. Barkeep, give this cocktail another squirt of that vintage baby formula everybody's crying about these days. I hear it tastes great with one squirt costing more than this entire bar. Don't worry about the tab, it's on the taxpayers. Cheers to saving the children. IR 2022-128, June 21st, 2022, Washington. Following intensive work during the past several months, the Internal Revenue Service announced today that processing on a key group of individual tax returns filed during 2021 will be completed by the end of this week. So that's good news for those taxpayers. However, the reason they're telling us this is probably because they would have liked those to be processed sooner. So due to issues related to the pandemic and staffing limitations, the IRS began 2022 with a larger than usual inventory of paper tax returns and correspondence filed during 2021. So note, if you think about the IRS as a separate entity, then of course the rest of the government, which is making the laws, the IRS then trying to execute the laws, you can see that it should be true or would be true, I would think, that they had to deal with a lot of changes going on through the pandemic uh, time frame with this issuing of the stimulus checks, uh, for example. And then when you have the pan pandemic restrictions, which were often being put in place from the top down, it's probably gonna hit the federal kind of uh, agencies like the IRS first. So I would think those would cause substantial restrictions for the processing time on uh, the IRS as an entity in and of itself. So the IRS took a number of steps to address this and the agency is on track to complete processing of originally filed form 1040 individual tax returns without errors received in 2021 this week. Business paper returns filed in 2021 will follow shortly after the IRS continues to work on the few remaining 2021 individual tax returns that have processing issues or require additional information from the taxpayer. As of June 10th, the IRS had processed more than 4.5 million of the more than 4.7 million individual paper tax returns received in 2021. The IRS has also successfully processed the vast majority of tax returns filed this year. More than 143 million returns have been processed overall with almost 98 million refunds worth more than $298 billion being issued. Amazing that we're able to process that many returns. That is kind of incredible. So all IRS employees continue working hard to process these and other tax returns filed in the in order received. So notice when you're talking about the IRS, they should be as a bureaucratic entity processing the returns in order of receipts. And that's important to note because oftentimes we as taxpayers often think that uh, their CPA firm or possibly if they contact the IRS, they can get it to the head of the line or something like that. And typically you would think that shouldn't be the case because it should be a bureaucratic organization that processes the return uh, on, on a you know first in, first out kind of method. The IRS continues to receive current and prior year individual returns and related correspondence as people file extensions, amended returns, and a variety of business tax returns. To date, more than twice as many returns await processing compared to a typical year at this point in the calendar year, although the IRS has worked through almost a million more returns to date than it had at this time last year. So clearly these, chain, these big bureaucratic agencies as well as the IRS tax code in and of itself is kind of designed to not have a whole lot of changes going on. And we have had a whole lot of changes going on in terms of the tax law 
and in terms of sending out you know payments uh, economic impact payments and of course <clears throat> the covid restrictions i think most likely hit harder on the federal uh, from the top down kind of thing because that's how that seemed to be how the the aim of the restrictions uh, you know kind of were going so you would think those things would cause problems to the irs to move smoothly to work to address the unprocessed inventory by the end of this year the irs has taken aggressive unprecedented steps to accelerate this important processing work while maintaining accuracy this effort included significant ongoing overtime for staff throughout 2022 creating special teams of employees focused solely on processing aged inventory and expediting hiring of thousands of new workers and contractors to help with this ongoing effort. Additionally, the IRS has greatly improved the process for taxpayers whose paper and electronically filed returns were suspended during processing for manual review and correction referred to as error and resolutions. Uh, last filing season, the IRS tax examiner could correct on average 70 tax returns with errors uh, with errors per hour. Thanks to new technology implemented this filing season, 180 to 240 returns can now be corrected per hour. So that seems good. So as of June 12, 2022, 21 there were 8.9 million tax returns in error and resolution as of june 10th 2022 there were just 360,000 returns awaiting correction the irs will continue its intense effort to make progress on processing these paper returns in the months ahead quote irs employees have been working tirelessly to process these tax returns as quickly as possible and help people who are waiting on refunds or resolution of an account issue end quote said irs commissioner chuck reddick quote completing the individual tax returns filed last year with no errors is a major milestone but there's still work to do we remain focused on doing everything possible to expedite processing of these returns and we continue to add more people to this effort as our hiring efforts continue this summer end quote reddick emphasized that adding sustained funding increases the irs will help the agency add more employees to process tax returns and answer phones as well as help improve technology and ensure fair enforcement of the tax laws quote taxpayers and tax professionals deserve the absolute highest quality service from the nation's tax system end quote reddick said quote long-term and consistent funding for the agency is critical to ensuring the irs is prepared for future tax seasons it's also critical for the irs to be ready to answer the call for the nation during the next crisis just as the agency did uh, delivering the three rounds of historic stimulus payments and advanced child tax credit payments during the pandemic, end quote. So clearly, again, traditionally, the IRS, in my opinion, is something that we don't want to be changing all the time, right? You want the laws to be kind of st stay somewhat the same from year to year and the processes that the IRS are using to stay somewhat the same, although they should be improving, I would think. But the idea that we should be prepping the IRS to to be able to handle just massive dumps of money into the economy every time we declare that there's an emergency uh you know i'm a little skeptical on on that because i'm not sure how well that worked out i mean the stimulus payments were great but you know we're getting kind of hit with inflation now which i would think was going to outpass the stimulus but i'm not sure it was the best uh, thing i think people are going to be worse off in the long run from everything we did. But in any case, that's just my pessimistic opinion. So the IRS reminds millions of taxpayers who have not yet filed their 2021 tax returns this year, including those who requested an extension until October 17, to make sure they filed their returns electronically with direct deposit to avoid delays. People who use e-file avoid the delays facing those who file paper returns. E-filed returns with no errors are typically processed in 21 days. The IRS also urges people to file as soon as they are ready. There's no need to wait until the last minute before for the October 17 extension deadline. So they're basically saying, you can send in your return early, you know. You don't have to wait, all you procrastinators that put yourself on extension in the first place. You don't have to wait till the last day because we would like them earlier. We don't need to flood at one time. But but you know you know how it is. They're all procrastinating. That's why we put it on extension because we're going to wait till the last second. That's what we do. Anyways, 
Filing sooner avoids potential delays for taxpayers, and it also assists the longer ongoing IRS efforts to complete processing tax returns this year. So, you know, you got to file on time because you be helping out the IRS over there. So if that motivates you to get your tax return out because so, you don't want to mess up their inventory processing staff. Okay, anyways, additional details on processing and other operations are available. Uh, on a special page on irs.gov. There's a link to that special page right here, and there'll be a link to this in the description.